vlog and on here I'm also editing this video vlog <laughs> what the heck is my life right now hello guys welcome back to the studio and to another studio vlog so I have been in the studio since about quarter past eight this morning I am feeling so productive i have got myself into a really good sleeping pattern after years pretty much the whole my whole life struggling with falling asleep part, like before 2am i've now got this whole new sleeping routine Woohoo! i feel really motivated and i also did a few different things which means i've got the rest of the day to get creative and to do some new things and we did a launch on sunday but the thing is we did a launch and we've done something that's quite risky we are waiting for our transfers to come in so there's a three to five shipping dispatch date on our Etsy store uh, which gives us some leeway but today our stickers are coming which we'll need to organize and hopefully they've turned out okay I wouldn't advise to do it this way but I really needed to get this launch up uh, rather than last year when I launched all the autumn stuff in the middle of October and it's just way too late because a lot of you guys are from all over the world which is amazing and um, so if you want autumn stuff it's needs to be up by September at least. So I got that all done, which means we need to get the transfers in for the totes, which I'm really hoping will come today, but the stickers are definitely coming today. But one thing that has arrived is the new Cricut mini press that I got. And I actually did this before I sent the DTF printer back. Um, for those of you who don't know, I invested in a DTF printer. It was a huge disaster. You can go watch last vlogs uh, to see the reason why I sent it back. I learned very quickly that it wasn't for us, but I did print out some logos for the tote bags um, so that we could experiment. And I have a few tote bags in that I can experiment with and I'm going to try and use the Cricut little mini press that I got so also I thought I would show you the little new plant that I got in my plant pot that I got from a convention this was two pound because it's feeling a little sad I might need to cut this off let me know in the comments I think it's called a fiddle leaf fig fig fiddle leaf fiddle leaf fig if anyone's got any tips on how to help this little guy because he's got a little sad little thing I did water him the soil is dry again. Anyway, this is the Cricut Easy Press Mini that I bought, but Mike and Ashley have just turned up, so I think we're gonna go for coffee before I unbox this, and then we're gonna try and put this logo on my tote bag. Also, yesterday on the Patreon exclusive video that we did, we strung up, we basically procrastinated all evening and strung up these lights. Can anyone remember these from the old studio? but they don't go all the way across the back of the room and I can't be bothered changing it, so I'm just gonna leave them, but the lights are back. Okay, time to unbox our new Cricut. Just slide it out. Oh, that looks so cute. It's like a little mini iron. That's exactly what it is. Just came in a box like this, kind of like apple packaging style. Look at this little mini iron cricket thing. And speaking of printing talks and stuff, we also got the roll delivered for the new DTF um, transfers. Hopefully, nothing's wrong with them because I already put them live in the store because I took photos with the DTF transfers that I've printed myself and I got these printed for me so hopefully everything's all good. 
Whoa. Whoa, those prints are way better than my prints. The quality is so much nicer. Ta-da. Yay. Oh, that keyring looks so much better than my keyring. Oh, thank goodness for that. So I have to press for 10 seconds at 150 degrees, medium to high pressure, second press 10 seconds. I've actually got my logos on here, so I'm gonna see if my new little Cricut, I'll just cut my logo off like this. I'm gonna see if my little Cricut works. So this is gonna be a bit of an experiment. I've got these little pads from Amazon, which are like, um, heat proof ones just to uh... oh it turns green I can feel the heat from it okay I hope this works I wonder if I need to put a Teflon sheet on this mm -hmm. oh oh no that didn't press properly second attempt I press a little better. Not perfect though. Yay! have arrived. I've got a restock of some old stickers but the new autumn stickers have arrived. Dean's actually arranging all the stickers over here. I don't know if you can see. Look he's got all the stickers out. All of the planner stickers with our tabs on. These are so cute. They're still one of the my favourite things that I've designed and created um, and they've stood the test of time which is great because we go through these every single day when we're doing the orders and they just look really cute. You can get these on my store. Speaking of which, I have got a restock of some of the sold out ones. There is a lot of the little flower pot ones and also our Halloween one should be there but I can't see where they are. I did a little bit of a risky thing by actually launching my products before we had them in. So tomorrow I'm going to be helping Mike pack the orders. I need to make all the tote bags up that we have sold ready for packing tomorrow. Uh, but, let's see, we've got a restock of Letty Fibre, little Daisy Bumble book. Ah, oh, they're cute. So these are the new autumn die cuts. These are waterproof vinyl. We've got Cozy Nights and Pumpkin Spice, Autumn Leaves and Coffee Please, and then, oh my god. And then I want to have a look at the planner stickers as well. We've got Marshy and Bartholomew, and we've got this one, and they don't have line art, so it looks really cool on like glasses and stuff. And we also have the Christmas ones, which I actually got last year, but I left it too late to launch them, so I've launched them in this launch. There's the other Polko Deco ones. Love these, these are my favorite stickers. <gasps> they look so cute and vibrant. Got this pumpkin spice latte one with the garden with his bum out. Got a restock of some citrus stuff and some bear stuff for Valentine's Day. Period trackers, the mixed garden set, a cozy day one with candles. Anyway, Dean has made me a list of tote bags that I need to make ready for Mike tomorrow. So I'm gonna get back to work on making all the tote bags. <laughs> 
As I learn and perfect my tote bag making skills, I wanted to say a huge thank you to long term supporters and sponsors today, Skillshare. I am always trying to improve and grow in my business and I think developing new skills, adapting and learning new things is crucial to innovating and growing. Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with thousands of classes to choose from by amazing creators and inspirational eyes. Although they have tons of classes from anything you can imagine like small business, photography, selling on Etsy and more, they also have classes on personal development and growth. Skillshare also knows me so well and always recommends the best classes. Take a look at this class by comic artist and illustrator Gabriel Piccolo. I can't wait to sit down with the couple and see what I can learn from this class. The best thing is, Skillshare are actually offering the first thousand people to click in the link in my description a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thank you so much again to Skillshare for being wonderful partners and supporters of this channel. guys so i finished printing all the tote bags yesterday and i'm in before anyone else again it feels so great to be in this good sleeping pattern anyway um i need to package those totes ready for packaging orders so i'm actually gonna help mike out with the orders today try and get them down and package those tote bags up um, and then I would really like to work on a Christmas range. Now I know this might seem crazy, we haven't even got Halloween out the way, but when you run a business, I really need to get on top of the trends because it takes a lot of time to kind of develop the products, get them out, and by the time they're out, then people are ready to buy for Christmas. People are already uh, buying for Christmas now. So you guys are prepared and a lot of my customers are international and I'm really trying to get on top of that. I'm away in Turkey from Sunday, then I get back for a week and a half, then I'm going to Florida. I feel so lucky but also a little stressed. So I don't really have a lot of time to develop Christmas products. Now I've already launched a bunch of Christmas stickers. One of you guys actually commented this on last year's Vlogmas I think it was and said why don't you have a cat and it can be like the cats of catnip so we'll have citrus, we'll have satsuma and then we'll have peppermint and they can be the three main cats here at catnip. So today Today, let's get to work on packaging those tote bags ready for Mike and doing some orders. Also, this studio is a mess, just ignore the stuff all over. I even left my dinner plate on the side. I have this clothes folder, I wonder if it will work for tote bags. one but these are useless. I don't know if this is a rubbish one. Let me know in the comments if you know of a good one. I don't know. I just think it takes longer to use these. But I've seen them on TikTok.
I finished packing all the tote bags ready for orders. These are all ones that we've sold. Uh, we're actually sold out and we're going away to Turkey. So even though we can press them and we've got the transfers here, we're actually sold out of tote bags. We sold more than I thought. This is... All the tote bags for the orders. I can't believe it. I'm going to renew them in the stock on Friday. This one seems to be the most popular one. The one with Bumblebutt on it. I'm surprised with how well these have sold. If you want to see Christmas stuff or any designs at all, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see on tote bags. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I am going to end this vlog here, guys, because I'm going to start the next one straight away and I'm going to work on uh, Christmas products and illustrating those ideas that I had out in my sketchbook. If you enjoy these vlogs, please don't forget to leave a comment and a like. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week when we'll be developing a new character. Alright then, thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye!